Amen. Amen. Yesterday, she called that uh, the note she has prepared is lost. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I like teasing her. Yeah. Now, bow down your heads for a short prayer. Most High God, we thank you this morning because every day you want to speak to us. Today we have built our house before you, Lord, from your throne room of grace. We ask of you to pour down your spirit onto us. Cause every heart to be receptive to your word that is coming. I'm going to live thereby. I commit myself into your hands. Lord, I soak myself into your anointing. Pour your oil down upon me, Lord, and flow through me. Not what I know that matters, but what your children need to hear is what you we will ask you that you pray. We ask you that you speak through me. Thank you, Father, for hearing us in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Oh, amen. 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 <coughs> the whole year, a theme is given. Every city of Pentecost worldwide is using the same theme. And as you can see it on the screen, it is, I'll build my church and the gate of hell will never prevail against it. You and I are agents of change. You and I are supposed to bring the word of God to the people out there so that they will know what God is about to do. Amen. Yeah. I've preached this message before, but today I'm going to go in details and teach about it. Talk. I'm going to teach about it. So you take your pen and paper, and then before you get home, you know who you are. Amen. Amen. You brought our Bible stock. Yeah. Josephine, what's your name? Josephine, right? You have a Bible? Amen. Okay, here in this church, we want written Bibles. But today, you're going to open your Bible and read for us. Uh, whose beautiful bag is down there? Is that yours? Yeah. Is there a Bible inside? Yeah. Can you give it to Mr. Joseph, please? I, I don't know, you have something in your hand, right? Please put all your phones in your bags. When you go home from 12 o'clock to 10 o'clock, 10 hours you can deal with your phone, but here now, no. This moment, you deal with serious business. Uh -huh. Good. Where is the theme taken from? Uh -huh. You were saying something? Matthew 16, 18. Stand up and read. Open your Bibles. We are reading together with Sister Emanuela. She's reading from Matthew chapter 16. Start from verse 16. Matthew 16, 16. Yeah. yeah. Should we read from the board? Who should we read? From the board. Yes, she could tell you, so I've asked her to read. Ah, okay. Saki, are you there? Yes. Saki, please, let's go. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's Matthew 16, 16. Go on. Yes. 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 And Simon Peter answered and said, No, no. Matthew 16, 16. Yes. It's what about them? You are all the way in Malachi, I think. <laughs> it's even right there, Betty. Look. Uh huh. And Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Verse 17, Gazing. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon, Bar Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Verse 8, it is Emanuela. Verse 8. Jesus 
Jesus, I said, I said to him, also, I said to him, Yes. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you. Blessed are you. Baby, my cat, please continue for me. I said, Hold on. She said, I'll come back to you. If I tell you that you are better and won this work, I will build my church. And the gates of Hades will not overcome it. Okay. I want the thing to flow. Then you can understand what is going on here. Verse 16. And Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him and said, Blessed are thou, Simon, by Jonah. Verse 16. Simon Peter answered and said verse 17 Jesus said blessed are you Simon by Jonah what's going on yes ah see now there's a nine why is he going to hear have you noticed that that's why I said contextual reading now let me take the story back Jesus was asking the disciples, who do people say I am? Oh, people say you are Jeremiah. I mean, other says you are Isaiah. Last time, the woman who was selling oil said even you are, I mean, Elijah. People are saying different things about you. I said, okay, no problem. But you, what do you say I am? And who gave the answer? Peter. Who was Peter? Uh, yeah, thank you, but I don't need another one. Who was Peter? Simon, the son of Jonah. In your Bible, it's written Simon by Jonah. By me, son of. And his father was Jonah. So Simon, son of Jonah. That's it. So, Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered him and said, Blessed are thou, Simon, son of Jonah. Son of Jonah. Here, this time he did not ask any Peter here. Yeah. Son of you. you see that? And then we move on to verse... Can I come? Yeah. Verse 18. And I say unto you, You are Peter. And upon this rock, I will build my church. Simon's initial name was, sorry, sorry. Peter's initial name was Simon. But why did you just change his name to Peter? Let's go to the... Uh -huh. Because anyone who has... Okay. Simon had to be taken immediately by Jesus heart. So? Yeah. Okay. He said, everybody understand it last time. Okay. What, what, what did you want to say? Like, um, I was saying, uh, anyone who had encounter with God, he changes their name. Exactly. Yeah. Who did God change his name in the Bible? Uh, From what to what? <laughs> Thank you. That's a good one. I need another one. <laughs> From Saul to Paul, Abraham to Abraham, Sarai to Sarah, Jacob to Israel. That's it. You see that? Someone. Okay. From Christian to Yansu. <laughs> All right. So, that was the change of name over there. But why? Anytime God wants to use someone in, to do greater things, he always changes their name. Example is what you've just given. God bless you. But why should he change his name? That's the question. The name Simon means to hear, to listen. 
And he became Peter, meaning rock. Why? Anytime somebody's ears is open to tend to listen here, you listen here, listen, 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 you become unstable. You mean Mr. B. Not as the blotches of the bone. As white, as a red white, the blotches begin to shake. Leafy. You become what you call leafy or flick. You have any stabile. So you cannot handle anything permanently. That is why he said, Jesus, God forbid, you cannot go and die. Even if you die, I will die with you. He says, I see you. The cop will not go threat and you deny me. Did he do that? He did it. Because the guy was unstable. When he says that, come see Peter, he took his boat, he's going back to the sea to fish. A man that a church has been given to you, he read a church and went back to fish. He was unstable. That was his nature. Mm. Who is Simon here? Nobody is Simon. But Peter is solid as a rock, as a stone. A stone, when the wind blows it, it will not move. A stone is always solid. So God, Jesus foresaw this quality that is what I need in this guy so that through him I can establish the church. Not on him, but through him. Amen. Amen. So if you are here, you want God to use you to a different dimension, ask him to change your name. But I don't know the name that people call you. Oh, you know his ability? Yeah. Oh, that girl, no. Ah, hmm, 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 hmm. They put a stigma on your name. You don't know Ed Andrews? Ah, forget that. Uh, that, 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 that always with the young young guys. Ah, God forbid. They attach another name to your name. Thereby disqualify you to do certain things that you're supposed to do. So if you want God to use you, ask him to change your name. Maybe you are timid. You know that sister? Ah, that timid sister who always shy, shy. Ah, no, you don't need that. Ask God to give you the spirit to be bold as a lion. And he can call you, he can call you Sandra the Bold. Yes. Shaki the speaker. Yes. Eric the narrator. Yes. James the teacher. You see, you got a new actor now, a new now. That will qualify you to do whatever he wants you to do. No sister comfort. Which one? That small sister. Oh, the one who sings beautifully. The singer. You got another name attached, and it will qualify you. Amen. Amen. So when you are praying, don't only pray for things. Pray for a name change. Mm. It helps. Mm, Amen. Amen. Good. The word church, as we call today, Church of Pentecost, church is not a church building. Church in the Greek name is Ecclesia. Ecclesia means a call at once. You come from St. Jansen Strat. You come from Abdai Strat. You come from wherever. We call each other and we come and gather here. Yeah? We the call at once here, we call us Ecclesia. That is the church. It's not a building. And it's also not a particular denomination. Not Presby, not Pentecost or Methodist. No, it's not a particular denomination. But it's a group of people who believe in Christ. And we have gathered together. We are the church, not the building we are in. And again, a whole electric congregation gathered together to praise God. Now like this morning, even if we are 10, we are church. If we are 20, we are church. We have gathered together to praise our God. And this is why Christ says, I will build. You see that? You're going to use human beings to build this church he is talking about. And the question that you ask, you ask yourself is, am I part of it? Let's draw a picture. Who saw the World Trade Center before it collapsed? The World Trade Center. In the US. It was the one Osama Bin Laden hit with a plane. You saw it on TV outside, Joe? Mm -hmm. Very long time. 9-11. 9-11, mm -hmm. hmm? yeah. Oh. What's that here in turn of the, the host take about? You don't have any tour building here in China? No. Mm -hmm. okay. Or in case, yeah. Or the new shopping center. Let's take that one for example. 
when they were building it, they dug a deep down, very deep, and they used concrete and iron rods and stain fronted in so that they can make a steady fundament foundation. Because if the foundation is not strong, when you build, it will sink or it will even break. Ghana said, you call a place circle. They were building a bank over there. More than 10 years, the, church, the, the, the whole building was sinking down. The more they put things to go up, the, the building was sinking down. Mm -hmm. Why? The foundation was not good. Not so the, the stronger or the taller or the bigger the building, the stronger the fundament will sign. That's how it is. The church is built upon the revelation. Our church, the foundation is a revelation. That was why when Peter said, you are the Christ, so the living God, Jesus said, yes, on this foundation, on this revelation, I will build my church. So if somebody asks you, are you a Christian? The answer is yes. Good. Are you part of the church? Yes. What is your foundation? What will you say? Somebody will say, my foundation is the Bible. Somebody will say, my foundation is pastor. No. So your foundation Christ. is God's revelation. No. And that is? Christ. Christ is the Son of God. Again, Christ is the rock. He said, upon this rock, I go to my church. My question to you is, when God was giving the Ten Commandments, what was the name of the paper he wrote on it? Tablet. Tablet of um, It was a stone. You write on a paper at all? Stone. That paper was a stone. Carved. That was Jesus Christ. So Christ means the anointed one. So if you are in Christ, you are in the anointed. Are you all anointed? Yeah. Yes. So if you are anointed, dear, then when we say, come and lead us to do open prayer, yes, I'll be there. Because at the end of the day, it's not you doing it. It's the anointing one. doing it. If you say, come and preach, yes, I will come. It's not you preaching. What is preaching? The anointing because you are in Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Don't bother ever stay eh? <laughs> She will come next week. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you are building a building or erecting a building, you need the right materials mm -hmm. and the right tools. Right. Not only is this the foundation of the church, he is the provider mm -hmm. of the building materials that composes the church. So imagine we want to build up a small house alongside Victoria Strat. We need two things. The construction tools and the building materials. Mm -hmm. You agree with me? Yeah. Now, let's go and build a house. These ones here, I call them the construction tools. Example, Eric? Level. Betty, example of construction tool? Hey. Shovel. Stop. <coughs> Shovel. Shovel, mixing, mixer, hammer, cry wag, we battle, excavator, excavator, clay, crane, the crane, or the crane. All those things you see there, they are all construction tools. Buckets. We use them to prepare something. But let me ask you a question. When they were building this building we are in now, did the constructor use any construction tools? Yes. yes. Have you seen any one of the construction tools here in this place where we are? No. no. What does that tell you? After the building is completed, we remove all the construction tools that helped us to build the building. In much the same way, when we come to church, Christ said, I will build my church. He is using tools and materials to build a church. Some of us here are tools. You will help us to build a church. By at the end of the day, if you don't take care, you'll be wandered out. Mm -hmm. You will come to church, all right. When we count the numbers, we are 34. Wow, we clap. But if you don't take care, end of the day, after we all say goodbye to the world, God will tell you, my friend, that day you were just an 
Two. A best show, Papa. After waking up early in the morning, come and sing and praise and dance. I'll just say two. Yes. And God will let you know why you were two. I don't want to be a two. I want to be another thing. Apart from the construction tools, we also need construction materials. These are the things you can now see in the building. You can see the wall. You can see the pillar, the bulk, right? If there's a ram, you can see the ram, I mean, windows, the door, the glasses, the flue. You can see them. This is what we have now. That is the building. That's what Christ is going to do. Now, construction materials. Which one of these are you? I am the stones. Who are you? The roofing sheet. Roofing sheet. Uh -huh. Cement. Uh -huh. Concrete. Uh -huh. Nails. You are the sand. Okay. Asso. The nails. Uh -huh. Tiles. You are. Uh -huh. Of course. Thank you, Asso. We have a door here. We have nails there. We have the lock, right? We have wood. We have the mud. Roofing towels. We have the sand. We have chipping, stones. We have cement. All these things are construction materials. But there's one we cannot see. What was it? Water. Huh? Water. Yeah. You need water as well. You can as well be the, eh? You want to say it? Yeah. Uh. So, all these things are, in human knowledge, good and complete materials to build a, a, a place to live in. So when Christ is looking for things to build the church, he must go and gather them. Now, let me ask you this question. Do you know the reason why there are so many shops in the terminal structure? There's not only one shop that sells coats. We sell coat. Say, our sells coat. Uh, which shop again? Zara. Sting, Zara. They all sell coat. Yeah. Why? Well, they are they different, have different, types. different type of um, uh, shapes quality. and uh, quality. Quality, styles, uh, 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 design. Design. Fabrican has always double split at the back. That's what I prefer these days. But those other shops, they have only one. Another one has uh, size 54 that fits. Yeah. Another one has size 50 that's very bang I am. Yeah. You know, and the quality and stuff. Yeah. Good one. So imagine, I want to, if you want to buy a coat for me, it's 54, please. <laughs> yeah, 54. You want to buy a coat that fits Elder for his birthday, which shop will you go? We. <laughs> oui. Which shop will you go? Zara. Which shop will you go? Um. The one that um, um, a lion stands in front of that shop is there. Yeah, yeah, I see it is very good. What's the name of that shop? Um, it's Devil. Devil. Is it Devil? Devil. Yeah, Devil. Devil. I don't want that one to see. Okay. You see? The quote is very nice. Eh? We want, he want, you see why he's describing the shop and even the, I mean, the things they sell, the quality. Devil. It's Devil. 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 They are here. Yeah, these are very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> very expensive. One coat, last time I entered the one coat for 399 or 299. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah, yeah, yeah. blazer. And the blazer was five hundred. Yeah. yeah. 600. I used to wear one blazer with golden boxes. It doesn't fit me anymore. It was size 50. It doesn't fit me. I bought it those days for 289. I bought it for six years. Yeah. But because of size, I don't fit in. But the coat is blazer. Tell you. <laughs> anyway, if you want to get mine, you just passed it. Okay. Why these choices? So that if your money is 100, you can get it here. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Hello. If your money is 50 euro, you can get it there. If your money is 399, you can get it there. Are you looking for, are you looking for a quality? Go there. Are you looking for a middle class? Go there. In the same way as the churches. We have Presby, Anglican, whatever, Roman Catholic, Pentecost, 
Church of Christ. Too many churches. Muzama Christo Disco Church. Church of Christ. Anglican. Uh, church of England. You don't know Anglican? It's another church. Did you don't have it here? No, no, no. Okay. Orthodox Church. Long term church. In Gaines. It's Anglican Church. It's a Church of England. That's why they call it. Now, why all these too many churches there? Who can answer me? Yes? Thank you. <laughs> so Christ is looking for building materials to build his church. When he goes to... No, Elder, please. Are you staying back? answer to your question. Yes, I'm getting in. You get it better. Where he's coming from? Because I have a different answer. Tell me. Why this church or oh, oh, so many? All the many, many different Because churches. we all have a different belief. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what they are. Okay. We get there too. Thank you. <laughs> if I catch you, come and stand here. Okay. Now, in case you are looking for, Christ is looking for iron roof or a roofing sheet to cover his church. He goes to uh, Pentecost, the one of Pentecost, the moment the sun shines 30 degrees, the room will be warm. I don't like that one. They go to, he goes to Presby to look for roofing sheet. This is quality. Take it from Presby. He leave the one from Pentecost somewhere. Now, he's looking for iron rods. He comes to Roman Catholic. These iron rods, they are not good to bend. If you bend, they will break. Let me leave it. Let me go to Pentecost. You see, you will be moving from church to church. You select the best for his church. Come in. So when he comes to PRWC, he's looking for a cement. Will he get the best from here? Yeah. Or he will bypass us and go to Antwerp PI. He goes there, he doesn't fly, he goes to get PI. We must make sure we have the best for Christ here. He's looking for people who are prayer warriors who can stand in and pray. Can you find them in PI turnout? Mm -hmm. Nah. Yes. We pray five minutes and we are short of voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? He's looking for people who can intercede and pray for others. He comes and says, uh, Mm, I can't even fast for two hours. He will leave you and go to Presby. Just as you move from shop to shop to select quality and what fits your money, so will Christ do. I know. Imagine the same way if you allow the Holy Spirit to get into you, He is going to shape you and mold you to the quality and the price that Christ like. Christ is looking for somebody who is bold to stand before 30 people and speak. <laughs> he did not remind me the preaching last year, so I forgot, I didn't prepare. Christ will pass you by and go to Antioquia. Yes. Is the Holy Spirit that gives us this. So if you see you have the Holy Spirit, then why can't you be quality for Christ? Who has drunk alcohol before? Who is to drink alcohol? Okay, thank you. A point in time, you want to stop, you could not stop, or even smoking. You want to quit, you can't quit. You pray and pray, and now you look back. You see the bottle, you can walk by. It's not your strength. It's the Holy Spirit that has shaped you to be a quality. So if you allow the Holy Spirit to come into your life, He will shape you to become quality. Just ask the quality of that quote in the new shop. With 399, you can get only one. But with 399, you can get six in Zara. That's how it is. And Christ is not looking for the cheap. You want the best. So when it comes to PIWC turnout, can he get the best for here? Yes. Good. <laughs> Let's take our Bibles and read something, if that is true. We are reading from 1 Corinthians 3, 11 to 14. 
We are going to read it one by one. So make sure you follow us closely. Chapter 3. I'm going to mention name. I mentioned you name. Rise up and read. First Corinthians is in the New Testament. Yeah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans. From Romans, you go to first and second Corinthians. Right? Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Everything is taking you a long time. Can do one day. Good. Eric, read the first one. Yes, Chapter 11. I'm oh, sorry. Verse 11. Chapter 3, verse 11. 3, 11, please. <coughs> for, no, for no other foundation lay. Can no man lay? This is for no other foundation mm -hmm. Okay, all right, it's good. It's a safe translation, yes. Verse 12. Sister Betty, please. For any man builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, and high or strength, his work will be shown, his work will be shown for what? For what it is, because the day will bring it into the light. Okay. It's, it will be revealed with fire. Mm -hmm. And the fire will test the quality of each man's work. Thank you. Thank you. Verse 14. Which verse did you reach? 13, right? 14. Somebody should go to 14. If anyone. Just if you want to read, let me read. If anyone works that please stand up, so, thank you. Yeah. If anyone is working that he has built on it, he may he will receive a reward. Please read again. If anyone work uh -huh. that he has built on uh -huh. it, he may he will receive a reward. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh Arnold, verse 15. You can't find it. First Corinthians is there. Okay. Uh, Shadra, please. Verse 15. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but, but he himself shall be saved. Yet so as by the fire. Thank you. Verse 11 says, There is no other foundation. There's only one foundation that has already been built and established. Which foundation is that? Jesus. And that is the revelation we had. Okay. Now, nobody can build another foundation. Now, the foundation is laid. Now, we are going to build on it. If you have the foundation, you start building, right? Yes, I'm here. He said, now, if any man build on this foundation, using, your Bible said, using this material, right? Using uh -huh. That's why I make many colors there. So the foundation is built. We are going to build on it. Using gold. Two. Using silver. Three. Using precious stones. Four. Using wood. Five. Using hay. Six. Using stubble. Did she mention building materials there? Yes. Many, many different types. So you decide to choose what you want to use one by one. One by one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To build what was Precious stones. Thank you. Thank you. Silver. Mm -hmm. Wood, thank you. Wood, thank you. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, at least when we share these materials among ourselves, we can all get it here. Gold, silver, hay, stone. They are all materials. Foundation is built. We are going to use this material to build on it. Now, let's. <coughs> we are reading from Second First Corinthians. Eh? Now, every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare because it shall be revealed by fire, and fire shall try every man's work 
what sort it is. So the work you are doing is the gold, the silver, the stubble, the hay, the whatever we just mentioned. So in this church, when I come here to teach, to preach, to do whatever, it's my work. The things I do in secret is also part of the work I do. I cannot come and start and say, stop smoking, blah, 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 blah. You see me there. <laughs> don't chase the girls, the boys here, don't chase the girls. I'm, I'm myself doing the same, same thing. My work is going to be tested. By what means? Fire. Fire. If any man's work abide which he has built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. So when he comes and tests me by fire, and all that I have done is not consumed, that means I am safe. But if any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss. What are you doing here? That is going to be tested. You don't come to church on time. Offering, you don't give. Tithe, you don't pay. Read the Bible, you don't even want to know, don't know how to open to 1 Timothy 5, uh, 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 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5. Nothing you are doing. We are singing, you don't sing. We are clapping, the hardest you can clap is. What kind of quality is this one? You see? It's going to test all your work. I like this picture. The house is too hot. It's cold. It's on fire. It's it's on fire. The house is bent. It's on fire. The house is on fire. So the building we have built is now on fire. It's being tested. My question is, if the fire service come and put down the fire, what are the things that you can see Pillars. remaining? The stone. The stone, yes. The what again? The door. The door. Okay. What again? The rod. Iron rods. Iron rods. What again? What do you call these? Um, and some ashes. Ashes. We cannot identify. That one is gone. The glass. The chipping. The glass. The glass in the cupboard. The chipping. The chipping. This is going to be the result of the burn. Beyond recognition. The wood is gone. <coughs> See that? The wood is gone. So hay is no good. Hay is gone. Mm. Ah, even hay before the, the fire <laughs> reaches there, it's already gone. <laughs> hay, hay is red. Yeah. Red it's red. Catch fire. It's catch fire very quickly. Stone. Stone can do it. Fuel can. And for that, life stain. For that, need. For that, need. Uh, what else? Sorry? Yeah, for what I found from glue, my glass cell. Yeah. So after the fire, everything, everything is being tested. Okay. I was here. Now, here we are. So the whole building is now being tested. So when Christ comes, he will put us to the test. And then, end of the day, whatever that you did now will be revealed. Maybe the smoke will change your color. But when you wipe the smoke off, ah, silver, wow, it's still shining. The gold will still stand, but the wood, it will be burnt. The extra, it will be burnt. Those things are the weaker things we do in church these days. Little, little lies here, little, little lies here. Don't do this, and you do sticking, hiding, and do playing this. They are all going to be paid up. Okay. Let's go one by one to the Bible and define the things we just mentioned. He said, if anyone built on the foundation using gold, start for me. Listen. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Gold is, it stands for how to apply God's word. If you are using God's word to build your life, it means anything that happens, any challenges, any decision you want to make, think first. 
What does the Bible say? The guy says, before I marry you, you need to come and spend some time with me in my house. You put your near cannon. I must know you. Uh -uh. What does the Bible say? That time you are gold. Hmm? If I don't try the car, how can I buy it? My friend, I'm not a car. Go to the car shop. The Bible says this. You know what I'm getting to? Those are the people who, in the circumstances, any decision they make, they refer to what the Bible said. Second one. Silver. Silver. They are your substances. They are your money. When we come to church offering time, don't look for the, the slightest money you have. Let whatever you have cost you. Joseph was sold for 20 shekels of silver. How much was this sell sold for? Thirty shekels of silver. So in the Bible, anytime we are paying for something, they use silver. In much the same way in the church, we use money to pay for the light we are enjoying. <coughs> if the light goes off, you can't even read your Bible. So when we say bring your tithe, your offering, we are asking you to work with your silver. And if you have and you don't give it in your pocket, no problem. God will make holes in your pocket, they will fall off. <laughs> Not physically that the money is losing, but you pay bills that are unnecessary. A cafona bit here. And they are not good. You are now 20. By the time you are 30, there's a bill waiting for you to pay. That you have no clue what it came about. Yes, you knew. When you were 20, you were stingy in God's house. You don't use your silver to help God's work. And then we can't even pay for the room you are renting. That is the work you are doing. The next one. Yeah. Costly stones or precious stones. Costly stones or precious stones, they are our character and attitude. You still buy You can come to church for 10 years, but you don't want to change that attitude. You saw my man, it's time for offering. Every day offering. Every day offering. That's your attitude. Unu biayaka. Because I am friend with um, Sister Betty, and you don't like Sister Betty, you want me to not to like her. What kind of attitude is that? That is what we call precious stones. Our character needs to be tested. The next one. Yeah. Wood. Wood. Flesh and blood. There you are, now. We are fasting this week from Monday to Sunday. I can't do it. He sees everything in the human perspective. Next April, Brother Robert is going to preach. Hey, how can I come and start here and preach? Hey. Yeah. Hmm, they don't take me serious. Remember the five excuses of Moses? What am I going to say? Hmm, even, even, I can't even quote. Hmm, you limit yourself. Instead of letting the spirit does its work, you use flesh and blood. You are the wood. So when the fire comes, wood does not stand. All right? When the house is burning, can you see the wood? The door. You choose the door. It will burn up. Don't use human this thing to do God's work. Go deep into the spirit. The next one. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Hey, yes, sir. You know, sir, that's what the whole garment is doing, sir. Grass. Those grass, I have a picture here. The grass we use to cover the roof. This is it. This is a sir. This. Those brown leaves, some blotches, hailing. You cut them, you dry them, you use to cover the roof. That one, when you put a lighter, boom. Everything will be bent. Very, very light. One second. One second is gone. What does it represent? The hay represents culture and tradition. Pentecost is how we do our things. Prayer is how we do our things. We use culture. In, our, in, in Ashanti, we don't read like that. 
We are fancy, so we talk like that. No. In the church of God, we don't use quarter here. We use the principles of God. A certain uh, elderly person wants you to speak to him saying, Apan Pacho, Apan Pacho, say, Apan Pacho, it's nice. But when you come to church, not Apan Pacho, we are, do what God says you should do. Give respect and honor, fine. But culture and tradition to be at home. It's still on us. Amen. Amen. The next one, stubble. They are also pieces of wood. These are human wisdom and logic. For instance, you work, you've earned 800 cities, <laughs> euros, for currency where 500 euro. That 500 euro is not all yours. How many percent is for you? 90% is yours. That's why it's getting my fire. And when the 50 euro is for God, you say, now, this 50 euro, if I go to Zara, can get two tops, one down, one socks. Ah. Me to bring to the church? No. You equal it to your wisdom and say, ah, after all, God is rich. The Bible says the cattle on the hills are mine. Everything is mine. After what I see in my 50 euro for, let me use my money. Huh? You take logically that God has he made it. No. He's rich, but his work must be done on earth. So anytime you bring logic into things, it doesn't work. God doesn't need your human wisdom and logic to do things. He's above what you can think and imagine. So stubble there, a brobia and piece of wood, they burn up very quick. Those are the people, when a small thing comes to the church, they stop church. I was sick, nobody came to visit me. I was sick, my mother died, you called me once, the child did not come, I stopped church. Hmm? That's what's going on. When you go to the central churches, the old border, as some people cannot come to church for months. Sister, eh, when I was sick, they didn't come to visit me. They are brought the other one. <laughs> when fire comes, you get consumed up. Amen. So when Christ comes, you will not find the stubble here, the hay, the wood, you will not find it here in PI. If you go to the central, they are there. Go and say for them. But I've asked. We are the gold, we are the silver, and we are precious stones. It will pass through fire, but still, it will remain in the same. That's how it is. So if Christ says, I will build my church, he needs building materials to do it. Okay. So when he passes through the fire, at least the remains. At least the foundation is still there. The wall is still there. Some piece of wood are there. But the stable is gone. The small woods are gone. So when Christ comes, where will you be? Where will you be? Our last quotation. <clears throat> I want you to have this picture in your mind before you be there. When we are traveling from here to um, uh, 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 Antwerp on the snowway, see a lot of bridges break. You go under it, one car is passing on top. Some of them are 100 years old. Yeah. Some of them are 15 years. They are so strong. They carry all these uh, trucks. trucks. They are so strong. How many of them do we have in Ghana? <laughs> no. You ask yourself, what material did these guys use to build these bridges that they can be 100 years, sometimes 200 years? First and foremost, good foundation. Second, quality materials. Third, very strong structure. In the church, it's essentially the same. When a church has a good foundation, we have, that is Christ, good quality materials, you are the good quality materials here we have. We have the, uh, uh, the worshiper, we have the MC, we have the singer, we have the Bible quotation man, we have this, we have this. We are all quality guys. Yeah? So when we mix many, 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 yes, all of you together, we form a very strong team. But we need pillars that to support it. This building has pillars. Hmm? Without the pillar, what do you think the roof will do? To sink in. That's the picture I want you to see. Now, 
Let's go to the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 10. There's only one way to find out. Rabbi? Yeah, where's the Bible? Okay, who is there? Okay, Ephesians 4, 10. Uh -huh. We go one by one again. He that descended all things. He that descended is the same that ascended up far above heavens, that he might fill all things. Who are we talking about here? Who are we talking about? Who are we talking about? He said, He did he mention nobody's name? It's God. It's God? Okay. Jesus. He descended. Descend means to go down. What did he descend to? On earth. On earth. Earth. On earth. On where? Under the earth. Yes. To where? On earth. On earth is on. This one descended down. SF deeping. You go down to zero for deeping. To the grave. To where? When Christ died, where did he go? To the grave. To the grave? Yes. Okay, another name for the grave. So Bible translation said Jesus went to hell to preach the people there. Some trust me, I think it's an He did not go to hell, he went to the Hades. Next time I'll teach you the difference between hell fire. If you die, you go to hell, those things out. It's not like that. Yeah. I'll teach you the difference, you see it. He said he descended. And the same one who descended is the one who ascended. So what is the opposite of descend? Ascended. Ascend. So the same one who went to the Hades down there, the same one who ascended into heaven. So we are talking about Jesus. Okay. That he might fill all things. What is one? Verse 11. Who is there? Gizzy. And he himself gave some to be, to be apostles. He himself, who, who are we talking about? Jesus. He gave some to be apostles, some prophets, prophets some evangelists, evangelists and some pastors, pastors and, teachers. and teachers. How many? Five. How many? Five. 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 We call that five fold ministry. He said, Jesus Christ gave all this gift to us. Okay. I'll go them one by one. But what was the purpose of he giving it? Ephesians 4.12, who is there? For the is there Josephine? Of these saints. Oh, I wanted Josephine to read again. Okay. Yep. Are you there? I'm almost there. You are almost there. You were doing something else. See, that's why I don't no, like no, food. No, are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, are you sure? Then read for us, verse 12, please. Quite get ready for 13, please. With a view to the righteousness of the whole host, from Mr. Work to build up the body of the Christ. Thank you. Verse 13. So we all come in unity of the faith mm -hmm. and of the knowledge of the Son of God mm -hmm. unto a perfect man. Good. Unto measure of the stature of the, the fullness of Christ. Christ. Thank you. The purpose of the five things that Christ gave us perfecting of the saints. <laughs> Are you there? Okay, I thought you were lost. <laughs> Perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry, for edifying of the body of Christ. So, why did Christ give us the fivefold ministry? Reason number one: the perfection. These are God's people. We are the saints to perfect us, to make us wow. So Satan will look at you and say, "Wow." I'm even afraid to look at you. Look at you. You are God's child. You are perfect. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. <laughs> Satan will look at you and begin to run. The witches in your mama show you say, ah, for Sandra, I dare not go closer to her because she is mwah, to perfect us. The second reason? For the work of the ministry. The work of the ministry. What I am doing here, I am ministering to you so that you can learn something from the word of God. And the third one is to edify, edify, edify the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ. So when you are down, the message will bring you up. So he gave us this five big, big 
very big gifts. I'm going to reverse one by one to take them. Then we close. He said, he gave some to be apostles. This is apostle, the thumb. The thumb is the only finger that can touch every other finger. Let's try and see. This one cannot touch the rest. The apostle is the one who can go to every church. The head. The head, like Apostle Queen. He moved every place. He jumped anywhere he wants and he began to direct affairs of the church. He's the apostle. This is the prophets. The finger on this one. Oh, I'm here. I just said the thumb can touch every finger. That's what I said. Yeah. I didn't say. This one is the black wiser. Yeah. Uh -huh. This one directs you. Yeah. When you are going to Carrefour, you read the street, yeah. then you pass left, and then this building right. Yeah. This one direction. wise the, way, the direction. That's the prophet. A prophet always brings God's direction to the church. The prophet says, No. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no. He's a dog now. Angel. Angel, a dog, a cat. Let's put him aside. It's very important for us today. So a prophet is the one who directs the affairs of the church. So where is the prophet for PIA? Where is Where is the prophet yeah. for PIA? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Where is our prophet? We yeah. are here, but where, who is our prophet? Christian. <laughs> Again, some to be evangelist. That's a long finger. The reason why it's long is that it can go to every corner. Every place to bring the lost to Christ. Yes. Yes. Middle finger. It's very long. Check your finger. It's the longest one. Yeah. Yeah. God make it long for a purpose. Yeah. Can go to everywhere. Just like the evangelist. You go to outside and preach the gospel. You can go everywhere. The question is how many of us do evangelism? Now, I will come back to that point. The next one is the pastor. That is this finger. When you get married, where do you put your finger on this one? That means the pastor is like a husband to the church. He has married the church. He takes care of the church. Like Pastor Nyako. He's taking care of the churches in our district. He is the husband to the church. Husband in quotes. Husband himself is Christ. Okay. But the marriage ring here is a pastor who is taking care of the needs of the church. And the last one is the pinky, that's the teacher. That's what I'm doing here. I teach. So after the evangelists have gone outside to preach the gospel, people are in. The pastor will welcome him and make him comfortable and you call me the teacher to teach them. You see that? So in every church, we must have this five in it. And when you have this five in it, the picture I showed you here come into place. They are the strong pillar that holds the church. So when you did something last Friday night, the way to open the door, the prophet knows it. Say, hey, you, you know where you are coming from. You went there, went there, went there, do there. The prophet, God revealed it to the prophet. And the moment you, you do that, the person will be caught, will be ashamed. And the rest will not do the same. But now, where are they? So if there's anything that you will pray for, pray for one of these. Yeah. If you don't, you don't even have even the boldness to speak to others about Christ, evangelism, you can do that through the social media. Nowadays it's free. A time will come, they are going to ban all these things from happening. Preaching, they're going to ban it. You back it on the wall, it will happen. Evangelize. And the second one. Uh -huh. Your hand was up? Yeah. Uh, some women said this is famous. Oh, it's not natural. It's not normal. When they see it early, they can cut it off. But God gave, gave us five fingers. <laughs> it's a little bit normal. It's not normal. can cut it off. Yeah. Good. So anytime a church has this kind of pillars supporting the church, it stands well and it will never, ever, ever collapse. So as Christ is building his church, the first question is, what am I? 
Am I a construction tool or a building material? Okay, I am building material. What is my quality? If right now he used fire to test me, can I stand? Am I gold or wood? Am I silver or stubble? Am I hay or what am I? These questions, you are the only person you can answer them. So that when he comes here looking for the best quality, he will not jump over PRWC and go to Presby. Whatever quality that he is looking for, he can get it here. Here and right here. May the Lord help us. May He keep us. May He direct us to become what He wants us to be in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Time for questions. Ravi, question? Yes. 